There's all kinds of things going on around that are begging your conscious attention. You can block them all out and keep one idea on the screen of the mind with your will. We give up too easily on our goals because we've proven to ourselves that we can't follow through on our goals. I define willpower as your mental muscle, right? So if I could draw biceps around my mind, that would be my willpower. Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together, grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Bob Proctor. Also, if you wanna have more confidence, check out my 254 series, they're free. The links join are in the description below. I was reminded this morning of a question I'm often asked. How do you eliminate fear from your life? What we've got to understand is we're trading our life for our goals. Literally trading our life. So I started to study myself. I found most people don't know who they are. They really don't. When uh, President John Kennedy asked the father of the space program, the famous Dr. Werner von Braun, what it would take to build a rocket that would carry a person to the moon and bring him back safely to Earth, he answered him in five words. The will to do it. The will to do it. Pretty light, simple answer for such an enormous question. But I'm going to tell you something. The will to do it, that had a lot of power in it. What do we mean by that, the will to do it? Well, will is one of your higher faculties. You have perception, reason, memory, imagination, intuition, and the will. Will is a mental faculty that gives you the ability to hold one idea on the screen of the mind to the exclusion of all outside distractions. Do you know, it would be, you'd be hard pressed to figure out how many things are trying to grab your attention at any given time. But there's all kinds of things going on around that are begging your conscious attention. You can block them all out and keep one idea on the screen of the mind with your will. Will is a mental faculty that gives you the ability to hold one idea on the screen of the mind to the exclusion of all outside distractions. It's the will that gives you the ability to concentrate. Concentration is a powerful mental tool. How do you develop your will? I'll tell you. You take your pen or a little black marker and go opposite to your favorite chair. There's a wall opposite your favorite chair. Put a little dot on the wall. Do it when nobody sees you doing it and nobody will ever notice the dots there. Every time you sit in that favorite chair, focus on that dot. Bring all of your conscious attention to bear on the dot. Now, when you look at it, your mind will wander. That's okay. Don't feel bad because it wander. Bring it back to the dot. Every time it wanders. If you, if you concentrate on, the, on that dot for um, a half a second, you'll probably set a family record. Our mind is so busy. You focus on the dot, you'll find your mind wander. Don't feel bad, bring it back to the dot. You can get to the point where you can concentrate for quite a while. And I'm telling you, you concentrate for a while, you're developing great powers. Or get a candle in a candle holder and put it somewhere around your favorite chair. When you're alone, light the candle and stare at the flame. And stare at that flame until you mentally become one with the flame. Now again, your mind's going to wander. Don't feel bad about it. Bring it back to the flame. Just bring it back to the flame. When you learn to concentrate on one thing, you can concentrate on anything because that is how you develop your will. We give up too easily on our goals because we've proven to ourselves that we can't follow through on our goals. Every time you set a goal and you don't follow through, you're creating the pattern in your head, the mindset, the identity that I'm the kind of person who doesn't follow through. So what happens the next time you set a goal? Well, your, your brain will kick in to say, you're not gonna do that. How many times have you set a goal for yourself? It might be some big giant goal, right? Like I'm gonna crush this year and I'm gonna be here by the end of the year. Awesome, might be some big goal, but chances are even the little ones, even the little goals, like I'm gonna work out today or I'm gonna eat well today or I'm gonna make that call today. How many times have you set even a little goal for yourself and then not follow through? You didn't do it. You're not allowed to do that anymore. 
You have to be very intentional about the goals you set for yourself. And then once you set them, you have to follow through because what's happening is you don't believe you anymore. The next time you come up with another goal, you say, I'm going to create this thing. I'm going to get this thing done. You might believe it in the half second that you decided you're going to do it. And then what happens? Your brain's going to take over and say, you're not going to do that thing. Are you crazy? What makes you think you're going to do that? You didn't do these other hundred things you said you were going to do either. Your goals don't count until they're hard. And it starts with as soon as you set a goal, you follow through and expect it to be difficult. If it's easy, it's a gift. Expect it to be difficult and show yourself that you do difficult things. So for example, I'm, I'm filming today. Switch my hands. Hands getting tired from holding the phone all day. I'm filming today. I'm not at, I'm not at my place. Not in my usual setting. I'm not in my usual gear. Uh, you know, I like having my camera set up and my light and my microphone and all of it. Uh, I can't do it today, but today is my filming day. I don't, tomorrow I can't film because I got other stuff. I'm working on my YouTube course. I'm working on my membership program. I'm working on promoting my new book, Built to Serve. Go check it out, Built to Serve. So it has to get done today. What many people would do is say, well, I, I'm all, whatever, I'll do it next week. You put it off, you put it off, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow something else happens and you don't get it done. I adopt the mindset that it doesn't count until it's hard. That if I'm sitting down to record videos with everything perfectly set up, that's a bonus. But I expect things to get hard. I expect life to throw a wrench in my face, right? I expect difficult situations to come up. My goals don't count until they're hard. And I'm the kind of person who follows through on the things I say I'm going to do. That's my belief with myself, let alone what I'll tell other people. To myself, it's not acceptable that it's video day and I'm not making videos. And so I'm filming outside and I'm layered up. And I went through this exercise this morning. Part of what I do every morning is I think about what's my goal for the day and what would prevent me from accomplishing my goal, right? I say I wanna do this, what's gonna be my roadblock? And I'll pre-plan this in advance. What's gonna be a roadblock for me to not filming? So in my head, I said, well, I have to film today. I'm not going to be at home. So I'm going to film today. I'm going to film outside. What's going to prevent me from actually doing it? It's like, well, if it's too cold, right? So what's my solution? And I'll write it down. I'll prepare for it. I'm going to bundle up. So I've got, I've got my hat on. I've got my winter jacket on. I've got, I've got two layers. You can't see it. I got this hoodie which, with, with the thumb holes. And then I got this hoodie, which is the, the orange one, the, the gold one, right? Then I've got a t-shirt on underneath that too, to stay warm, right? So I'm, I'm making it so that I can follow through and accomplish my goals. But I've tied my self-identity to doing difficult things, to following through when it's hard. And so I want you to commit to less goals. I want you to think about just one goal that you have for yourself. What's one goal? Success equals habit. So what's a habit that you have that you want to keep that's important to you? And don't tell yourself you're going to do it unless you're actually going to follow through and do it. Make fewer goals and then stick to them. That allows you to build the discipline and the willpower. Because when you believe that you can follow through, guess what happens? You're way more likely to follow through. When you believe that you can't because you've told yourself this ongoing story and proven to yourself that you can't, that you don't follow through, then that's what's going to continue to perpetuate. And then you're never going to go off and accomplish your goals. But you know that you're capable of more and you live secretly knowing that you resent it, you regret it, you're disappointed in yourself. How do you get self-love? How do you get rid of the disappointment? How do you build self-esteem, self-confidence, willpower? All of it comes from doing difficult things and committing to yourself and following through. So pick fewer goals. Step one, pick fewer goals. Step two, expect them to be difficult. Life's going to throw a wrench at you. Step three, plan for difficulties in that what could throw you off course today from not following through. Look, I almost slipped. I almost slipped on some ice. What would happen? If I slipped on that ice, I would keep filming. I would film from the floor. When I broke my neck, I filmed with, with the, my broken neck, the collar, the massive pain. There's tons of videos on it. If I slipped on that ice right now, it would not be acceptable for me to, to stop filming. Right? And I would tell my editor, Christina, leave all that in. 
leave the falling, leave the owl, leave the like camera pointing at the sky where you can only hear me groaning and then see me pick up the phone and start finishing this video. And then I would celebrate myself, right? Once you do it and it's hard, you have to celebrate yourself. You pat yourself on the back and say, I'm amazing, I just did that. Is it the best video of all time? No, could I have done way better? A hundred percent, but I did that. And that starts building the belief system that you can do the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So pick that goal, expect it to be hard, plan for it to be difficult and what your solution is gonna be and then go off and do it and celebrate because you're awesome and I wanna see you win. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, question of the day, I wanna know, I wanna know, what is the thing that you're gonna do? Pick one goal, one habit, what's one thing that you need to stay consistent on this week and you're gonna do it every day, no matter what. Let me know, put that down in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video and you promise, you promise, you promise, you promise, promise to take action after watching this video, give me a hashtag believe down in the comments below too. I define willpower as your mental muscle, right? So if I could draw biceps around my mind, that would be my willpower. How do you train it? Train? How do you develop willpower? Yeah. Simple ways to finish what you begin, right? Every time you finish what you start, you're developing willpower. Because it's so easy to start a project, but to finish it is much harder. So the three of you have an idea, let's go to New York and do interviews. That's exciting, right? full of ideas, we'll do this, we'll do that, <laughs> we'll do this, we'll go here, we'll fly in a helicopter, we'll shoot this. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was in Pete. That was Then you come here, you have a great time, you shoot, <laughs> right? Then in a few days on Sunday, you get on a plane and you fly back to Munich and then to Hamburg, right? How do you know? <laughs> I know things, uh, special powers. <laughs> I also talked to MP before the interview. <laughs> So you're exhausted, you get home, you're jet lag, now you have other work things, your family's there. Now to finish what you begin is going to be a lot of work. To take all these hours and hours of footage, to go through everything, to edit it, it's going to be so painful, right? And then to do it better than you think you can and to do it a little bit more than you think you can. The first interview, you'll do a nice job. The second one, by the fourth and fifth one, you're going like, oh my God, I have like 10 hours of footage here. I have to sit and go through. But to finish it and do it better than you think you can and to do more than you think you can takes tremendous amount of willpower. So every time you finish what you begin, you're developing willpower. If you want to know how Bob Proctor wastes less time, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Make certain that what you're doing really makes a difference. Make certain that you're spending your time on activities that are productive.